aqui uma flor pra você. Cada um sabe o quanto de animação pode aguentar. <laughs> Why do players encounter lack of mana? Unable to crowd control enemies? And lack of health recovery? Here is our analysis. 1. Lack of mana. Diane often lacks mana because most players rely too much on skills and forget about her passive, and because they choose the wrong experiment. To do better, they need to familiarize themselves with their skills and buy the right equipment. 2. Unable to crowd control the enemy. This is because players do not understand the mechanics of her skill too. 3. Lack of health recovery. Diane does not have good health recovery because she's standing in the wrong place, using the wrong combo, or players choose the hero without thinking about the formation. Adultos são malvados e péssimos mentirosos. <clears throat> Understanding how to play her is key to establishing a good match strategy. Ha! Vacila comigo e eu te dou uma desarmonização facial. Understanding mechanics. Diane's protection comes from skill 1's area recovery and her ultimate's high single target recovery as well as physical and magical defense bonus. How to reduce mana usage. When her health needs to be topped off, she can use minion waves or monsters to trigger her passive and restore health, instead of using a skill and spending mana. Equipment. Choose Holy Grail and Augur's Word to increase endurance. Savant's Wrath also increases health restored. Olha, gente! Escuta só essa! Increase damage. Giant skill 2 bounce deals area damage, so cast it toward a crowd to deal burst damage, placing crowd control and adding damage output. Increase control. When trying to control enemies, cast skill 2 toward enemies on the edge to maximize the bounces, or even use minion waves or monsters to help. Increase healing. When healing teammates with skill 1, healing the current minion wave will help with pushing the lane later. When casting the ultimate, make sure the carry has good survivability so the skill effect is not shared. La, la, li, la, 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 li, li, la. Overall, Jayen is not a very difficult hero to control. Here are some useful combos. Essa música vai grudar nessa cabeça que nem chiclete. Use this when teammates are winning against the enemy. Use skill 2 to deal damage, providing teammate with more room for damage through crowd control. Then use skill 1 to recover to create a larger health difference for an advantage. Eu tô muito, muito brava. During team fights, use skill 2 to interrupt enemy damage. Then use skill 1 and ultimate to quickly heal teammates. This is also good for resisting damage during team fights when combined with the passive. Hey, eu só tô trollando. When Jayan is being chased, use skill 1 and ultimate to restore her health. Then use the speed up from skill 1 and the passive to quickly leave combat. Eu vou te pegar. When enemy assassins try to kill players carry, quickly use the ultimate and skill 1 to provide physical and magical defense, as well as a large amount of healing to keep the carry alive. Then use skill 2 to crowd control the assassin and counterattack. Quem chegou de penetra na festa? Eu vim aqui! It's important to have a good lineup so Chayanne can maximize her advantages. Jayan's healing can aid damage-oriented heroes like Ho Yi and Dai Renji. Jayan's healing can boost the survivability of tanky heroes like Dune and Lian Po, so they stay alive and keep soaking up damage for the team. Other healers like Bian or Yu Huan can work with Jayan to keep teammates topped off. Jayan could be obliterated by heroes with high damage like Gan and Mo and Li Jin before she even gets a heal off. Heroes with healing debuffs like Musashi and Nacha can stop Jayan's heals. Melee heroes should get Blazing Cape, Magic Damage heroes should get Venomous Staff, and Physical Damage heroes should get Mortal Punisher to reduce Giant's healing on teammates. <laughs>